Hey y'all, happy new year. I am in the midst of my new year's deep clean. If I were to turn the camera around right now, it would be an absolute nightmare. And in digging through my closet, I found all sorts of obscure audio technology and about 300 Allen wrenches. But I also unearthed this binaural head that I made. What does this do, you might ask? Well, it's a great question. It's a set of microphones. And now let's replay everything I just said from the perspective of that microphone. What does this do, you might ask? Well, it's a great question. It's a set of microphones. And now let's replay everything I just said from the perspective of that microphone. All right, let's go over and take a bit of a closer look. The idea of a binaural microphone is that the microphones are placed at the location of the ears. So this is a kind of immersive and spatial audio, but not one that's interactive, right? So if we record in binaural, it's not that we can do head tracking in real time to decode it. Now you can get a real binaural mic. If you could do a quick Google search, you can find those. They're a little bit more expensive than my $20 solution here, um, but they are far better microphones and they also have ears around the microphone. And again, as I've brought up before, the ear is really important about reflecting sounds into our ears. And they're a big deal on how we track the spatialization of sound, especially front to back. So I don't have those. And admittedly, my real head is significantly thicker than this head for better or worse. These are two little Electret microphones, which I believe I got from SparkFun. And so they need a voltage. And so the voltage is coming from the battery. This switch turns that battery power to them on and off. And then they send <laughs> foam everywhere. They send out that sound to this stereo jack, the left going to the left and the right going to the right. So those white wires are my audio wires. Black is my ground and red is the power coming from the switch. I'll throw up a really simple schematic of this. One thing that I added for no particular reason is this little uh, Japanese uh, beer bottle, Ginga Kogen, Morioka Brewery. If you like Hefeweizens, I recommend it. And so when you turn it on, there's also an LED in there that lights that up. I will say that was really a mistake for stability because this thing falls down uh, pretty easily. I'm not sure the head on its own does much more, but I guess it, I felt like it gave it a little bit of mass there. All right, so in the previous recording, when I was playing my voice from the opening, I just had it set on the table here, but the camera was looking at it from that. So really binaural is the most effective in being immersive if the camera and the microphones are in the same place. So let's give this a quick try. I don't know, I'm gonna pull out some things from my chest, a gong or something like that. So I'll mess around a bit and we'll see what we think it sounds like. All right, let's leave it there for today. I'm not advocating that this sounds excellent, but not a bad little cheap project. Maybe I'll find a way to use it in one of my pieces soon. I'll leave it there for now. Let me know what you come up with.